Hi, I'm Patrick Rourke at the University of Bristol. I'm going to tell you a little bit about our recent detailed de Haas Van Alphen effect study of the overdope cuprate thallium barium copper oxide. This work was published in the New Journal of Physics in 2010. Now, the cuprates are a family of materials with two dimensional copper oxygen planes. If we dope holes into these planes, a lot of interesting things can happen. For example, high temperature superconductivity. One of the big open questions about these materials is why superconductivity is killed off in the overdoped side of the phase diagram. Is it due to scattering or perhaps nanoscale phase separation? Also, the Fermi surface of these compounds remains controversial, even though it's a very important quantity to know about because a lot of physical parameters depend upon it. In order to address these issues, we measured very pure single crystals of thallium barium copper oxide, which we call thallium-2201. We glued our crystals to very sensitive torque microcantilevers, cooled them to 0.3 degrees above absolute zero, and measured them in the Guinness Book of World Records' world's most powerful magnet, the 45 Tesla hybrid in Tallahassee, Florida. Now, at such high magnetic fields, metals can exhibit a phenomenon known as quantum oscillations. And when these quantum oscillations are manifested in the magnetization of the sample, this is known as the de Haas Van Alphen effect. Crucially, the frequency of these oscillations is directly proportional to the extremal cross-sectional area of the Fermi surface perpendicular to the magnetic field direction. So you can see, by repeating our experiment at many different magnetic field directions, we can directly map out the size and shape of the Fermi surface. We can learn even more by looking at the quantum oscillation amplitude. For example, the temperature dependence of the amplitude tells us about the effect of mass. The field dependence tells us about the amount of disorder in our crystals. And the angle dependence of the amplitude tells us in detail about the C-axis Fermi surface warping. Our results show us that thallium-2201 has a large, mostly cylindrical Fermi surface with a small but finite amount of C-axis warping. And these results agree quite well with density functional theory calculations of the band structure of these materials. As we reduce the whole